Hey everyone, today we will check new kit from AZ model. Uh, as you can see, like plastic, we saw it before, but this is a limited edition. Um, it features special camas. Uh, there are four versions, uh, four different versions of the Spitfire. Uh, that's still a 70 second scale model kit. And you can see first interesting uh, marking option on the front side. And here are three others. As you can see here. So it's packed in this traditional as that model box. It's side opening, so let's open it and check it. Okay. Inside we will find two brown screws, one transparent part and resin parts as well. Just give me a sec. Okay. So let's begin from the plastic screws. Plastic spruce. Uh, here we have the one which contains fuselage hubs. Just give me a moment. Okay, now we see it. As you can see, parts are produced on the new technology. They're smoother uh, than previous ones, and as you can see, recess panel lines and rivet in some places are still present. I mean, that's a good detailization for the 70 second scale kit. Now we see it a, more, a bit more properly. We also mold it as single piece parts. And the molding quality is quite okay. I mean, thin attachment points, even look on the dashboard, even all dials are molded. And here are the wing parts. More of them. Here we have wheel wells, detailization, some push rod marks, and what else? And here is a full cockpit detailization. I mean, for such scale, it can be called school. I mean, because uh, you don't have to use any PE parts or something else. Everything is molded straight away from the plastic. And then we have second sprue, which features, of course, bottom wing part. Again, fully detailized with recessed panel lines, rivet and done, and ailerons, flaps are molded integrally. Here we have tail planes, rudder, uh, exhausts, landing gear, wax. Everything is molded just as it should be. And here is a propeller which is molded together with weights. Even seat is molded nicely. I mean, detailization is quite okay for such scale. Then we have uh, four resin parts which will be used to imitate gun barrels. Here you can see it properly. Even though there are plastic parts supplied, uh, manufacturer decided to include those barrels as well. Of course they are a bit, bit, bit better, but I mean plastic parts are also not that bad. Okay, then we have transparent part. That's a canopy, of course. As you can see, it's molded as a one piece. But still, the quality is quite okay. The only difficulty which you will face is to mask those tiny areas. Okay, and then we have two decal sheets. Here is the first one. As you can see, printing quality is very good. We even have here decal for the dashboard and here decal for the belts and even the huge symbols are carefully printed. Covers are bright as you can see and writings are sharp as you will see on the next sheet uh, which is dedicated to stencils only. I mean even the tiniest writings can be easily read and uh, stencils are quite nice to have in 70 second scale. I mean you don't usually see them in such small scale. And then we have full cover assembly manual, which features a bit of the airplane history, parts map as you can see here, and what else, and assembly instructions, which have this cover division as you can see. And of course stencil application guide. For the decals we have this marking option guide, which is placed on the back side of the box. 
As you can see, that's a quite nice kit for its money and it offers us unusual marking options. Uh, you can check full review, full article and photos on our website and don't forget to subscribe to this video channel and Facebook group, I would really appreciate it. Thank you for watching and see you soon.